So the Emoji Movie was bad. Shocker, right? But why? Because it's a hackneyed cash grab? Or perhaps it's because it's essentially a dollar store ripoff of Wreck-It Ralph? No, it's because of the weird art style! Look at it! Ew! So here's how I would fix the Emoji Movie's unappealing aesthetic in three easy to follow steps. Because yeah. Number one, remove the arms and legs. Have the characters bounce around on the floor like Veggie Tales. Maybe the hand guy could flip around and walk on his fingers. I heard somewhere that Columbia Pictures BS reason as to why they gave the Angry Birds arms and legs is because it was easier to animate. Frankly, I think it's more to animate, but that's just me though. Moving on. Number two, cool it with the realistic eyes. This next part is about the general state of animated movies, and not just the Emoji Movie. Big animation studios in Hollywood insist on putting human eyes on not-human things, like Smurfs, and Zootopia, and, uh, Veggie Tales. It's okay to have black circles on white circles, you know? Veggie Tales up until they were bought by DreamWorks, and its diametric opposite, Sausage Party, pulled off that look just fine. Better yet, better yet, better yet, just have black dots for eyes, you know? Like the Lego Movie Trilogy, the Peanuts Movie, and Captain Underpants. All stellar movies, except one of them hasn't come out yet. They all had dots for eyes and, uh, lovely. That being said, all of those examples are based off of properties that had dot-eyed characters to begin with. But you know what else had characters that had dot eyes to begin with? And number three, just don't make the movie. Simple as that. Just don't make the movie. You know, we all have that impulse at the back of our brain that says, hey, you should totally steal that cookie from the cookie jar. Don't, don't take the cookie from the cookie jar. Don't make the goddamn emoji movie. You know, it's common sense. But you know, money talks. Thank you.